true and international average of pressure. We have Dr. Mohan here with me. Uh, she, of course, you know her from the landing coverage. Hey, uh, Doc, but, how uh, are you? I'm doing very well, Mr. President. I just Thank want you, you for, to know. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Are you kidding me? What an honor this is. This is an incredible honor. And it's amazing. Indian of descent Americans are taking over the country. You, my vice president, my speechwriter, Vinay, I tell you what. But thank you. You guys are incredible. Did you want to say something? I'll be, I'll be quiet. As you know, I got a lot of support from this Indian. That's where and that more to come, I think. Yeah, so. No, I've, I've had a great relationship. In Delaware, the largest growth in population is Indian Americans moving from India. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. So for, I'm not joking. Oh, gigantic. Gigantic. And we need to close, but I, I want to ask you, Senator Biden, about something you said last month in New Hampshire that is just exploding on the blogs right now, and I want to give you a chance to answer it. You said this while you were up in New Hampshire, captured by C-SPAN on June 17th. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. I'm not joking. What were you thinking? Well, what I was thinking was they took out of context the whole of what I said. I was making the point that up until now in my state, we've had a strong Indian community made up of leading scientists and researchers and engineers. I pointed out that over 30 percent of the engineers in Silicon Valley were Indians. And I said, but now it's even healthier. We're having middle class people move to Delaware, take over Dunkin Donuts, take over businesses just like other immigrant, uh, immigrant groups had. And I was saying that, and my comment about you can't go in unless you have an Indian accent was making the point that they're growing, it's moving. I, I could have said that 40 years ago about walking into a delicatessen and saying an Italian accent in my state. The point was, this is healthy. We're now having not merely engineers and scientists and the significant brain power that came our way in the Indian community, but we're also now having ordinary middle class people move to this country building businesses, building families, and strengthening our neighborhoods. That was the generic point I was making. I've made it a number of times to the Indian community and out of the Indian community. This is a vibrant, vibrant community that ranges all the way from CEOs in Silicon Valley to families that are taking over the Dunkin' Donuts and fast food stores in my state and building businesses and building the community. So anyone who casts that as an insensitive remark is taking you out of context? absolutely positively. I've had an incredibly strong relationship with the Indian American community in the state of Delaware, which has been vibrant. They've mostly engineers in the DuPont companies, scientists in the drug companies. And the point making now is now you have not just, not just the scientists and the cream of the crop, you have average middle class Indians moving to the United States and making contributions, at least in my state, which I'm very familiar with. Senator Joseph Biden. Thanks for watching. We are working to add more content to the channel. Please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment below to help us to grow.